from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This is the story of a book, a book called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Not an Earth book, never published on Earth, and until the terrible catastrophe occurred, never seen or even heard of by any Earthman. Nevertheless, a wholly remarkable book. In fact, it was probably the most remarkable book ever to come out of the great publishing corporations of Ursa Minor, of which no Earthman had ever heard either. Not only it is a wholly remarkable book, it is also a highly successful one, more popular than the Celestial Home Care Omnibus, better selling than 53 more things to do in zero gravity, and more controversial than Ulan Kalufit's trilogy of philosophical blockbusters, Where God Went Wrong, Some More of God's Greatest Mistakes, and Who is This God Person Anyway? In many of the more relaxed civilizations on the outer eastern rim of the galaxy, the Hitchhiker's Guide has already supplanted the Great Encyclopedia Galactica as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is slightly cheaper, and secondly, it has the words don't panic inscribed in large friendly letters on its cover. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has a few things to say on the subject of towels. A towel, it says, is about the most massively useful thing an interstellar hitchhiker can have. Partly it has great practical value. You can wrap it around you for warmth as you bound across the cold moons of Jaglan Beta. You can lie on it on the brilliant marble sanded beaches of Centraginus V, inhaling the heady sea vapors. You can sleep under it beneath the stars which shine so redly on the desert world of Kakrafun. Use it to sail a mini raft down the slow, heavy river mouth. Wet it for use in hand to hand combat. Wrap it around your head to ward off noxious fumes, or avoid the gaze of the ravenous bugblatter beast of Tral. A mind bogglingly stupid animal, it assumes that if you can't see it, it can't see you. Daft as a brush, but very, very ravenous. You can wave your towel in emergencies as a distress signal, and of course, dry yourself off with it if it still seems to be clean enough. More importantly, a towel has immense psychological value. For some reason, if a streg, a streg is a known hitchhiker, discovers that a hitchhiker has his towel with him, he will automatically assume that he is also in possession of a toothbrush, face flannel, soap, tin of biscuits, flasks, compass, map, ball of string, gnat spray, wet weather gear, spacesuit, etc., etc. Furthermore, the streg will then happily lend the hitchhiker any of these and a dozen other items that the hitchhiker might accidentally have lost. What the streg will think is that any man who can hitch the length and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle against terrible odds, win through, and still know where his towel is, is clearly a man to be reckoned with. And to all you fruits on the mostly harmless planet Earth, happy towel day! Bye bye!